Father, we pray, oh Lord, as we come to your presence this morning, oh Lord, you will touch all our needs in the name of Jesus Christ. We will never remain the same in the name of Jesus Christ. Those that speak that the God will touch them in the name of Jesus Christ. Those that have financial challenges that God will visit them this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you. We worship you in Jesus' precious name we pray. worship the name of the Lord. It is time to give him praise. Are we ready to praise God? Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Amen! Lord, you are so good. Lord, you are kind. Lord, you are wonderful.
बधी ओ ले
Shadows. Holy, holy are you, Lord. You are mighty on your throne. Only the congregation. You reign alone. You reign alone. Declare to him this morning. You alone, you reign. Cados. Cados. Oh, Cados, Cados. One more time, Lord. You reign. You reign. You reign alone, God. God, we come with our hearts of praise, we come with our hearts of thanksgiving to exalt your holy name because we have tasted and we have seen that there is none like you and none can be compared to you. Father, we worship you this morning. sweet to your God in your own words just tell him something sweet this morning he's worthy he has kept you from January to this point father we worship you we exalt your holy name in humble adoration we come to you this morning accept our praises and may you accept our worship in the mighty name of jesus so now we'll be taking our worship him dare to be a daniel we'll take it slowly standing by your purpose true heeding god's command honor them the faithful few are held to daniel's band there to be a daniel there to stand alone there to have a purpose for there to make it known so it's simple so you can join us as we take stanza two many mighty men are lost there in order to stand who for god had been a host by joining daniel's Daniel, there to stand alone, there to have a purpose firm, there to make it known. Many giants, great and tall, stuck in through the land, had long to the earth would fall if met by Daniel's man. That to be your Daniel, that to stand alone. To have a purpose for that to make it known. Oh, the gospel. 
demonstrating how Daniel stood. I want us to pray this morning that Father make me to stand. Make me to stand. Stand there and stood. Despite all oppositions, he made up his mind that he was not going to defile himself with the king's portion. No matter what is happening around you, no matter what the culture or the world is doing, they are to stand alone. Let us open our mouth and pray that this morning, the Lord will release upon us the spirit and the power to stand alone in the name of Jesus. We shall stand for what is right. We shall stand for purity. We shall stand for holiness. We shall stand for righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Everlasting King of glory, we thank you. Father, we worship you. Father, we live too high because you are God. Father, we thank you because you sent Christ to this world to be our example. Mighty Father, we pray this morning that as your word shall come forth, Lord, you will reveal unto us the secret to be able to stand for you in every situation in the name of Jesus. Father, we are talking about excellence. Jesus had an excellent spirit. And he demonstrated it even in the face of death. Father, help us, O oh Lord. Release the grace upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. That among the eminent, we shall be preeminent in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I surrender myself as an instrument to be used this morning. Father, use me mightily for your honor and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. The theme for this month says exploit for supernatural exploit. It's actually supernatural exploits in our career, in our business, in our academics. So what the message is this month will go on. Will be excellence in all, at all levels, even in our spiritual lives. The focus for this morning's message is Daniel. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And the message is drawn from Daniel chapters 1 to 6. Daniel chapters 1 to 6. But we are not going to read those chapters. I will just pick some portions of it to read. Shall we open our Bibles to Daniel, the book of Daniel? We shall read from chapter 1, from chapter 3, and from chapter 6. 
chapter 1, chapter 2, and chapter 6. From chapter 1, 3 to 18, I will quickly read. Are we there? Are we there? So follow as I read. Then the king instructed Aspenaz, the master of the eunuchs, to bring some of the children of Israel and some of the king's descendants and some of the neighbors, young men in whom there was no blemish, but good looking, gifted in all wisdom, possessing knowledge and quick to understand, who had ability to serve the king's palace and whom they might teach the language and the literature of the Chaldeans. And the king appointed for them a daily provision of the king's delicacies and of the wine which he drank and three years of training for them so that at the end, that, they, that at the time, they might serve before the king. Now from among those of the sons of Judah were Daniel, Ananiah, Michelle, and Azariah. To them, the chief of the eunuchs gave names. He gave Daniel the name Belshazzar, Ananiah, Shadrach, Mishael, Meshach, and Azariah Abednego. But Daniel proposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's delicacies, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the chief of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. Now, God had brought Daniel into the favor and goodwill of the chief of the eunuchs. And the chief of the eunuchs said to Daniel, I fear my lord the king, who has appointed your food and drink. For why should he see your faces looking worse than the young men who are your age? Then, would endanger my head before the king. So Daniel said to the steward from the chief of the eunuchs, as said over Daniel, Aznania, Michelle, and Azariah, please test your servants for ten days and let them give us vegetables to eat and water to drink. Then let our appearance be examined before you and the appearance of the young men who eat the portion of the king's delicacies as you see fit, so deal with your servants. So he consented with them in this matter and tested them 10 days. And at the end of the 10 days, their features appeared better, fatter in flesh than all the young men who ate the portion of the king's delicacies. Thus, the steward took away their portion of delicacies and the wine that they were to drink and gave them vegetables. As for these young men, God gave them knowledge and skill in all literature and wisdom. And Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. Now at the end of the days, when the king has said they should be brought in, the chief of the eunuchs brought them in before Nebuchadnezzar. Then the king interviewed them, and among them all, none was found like Daniel, Ananiah, Michelle, Azariah, and therefore they served before the king. Praise the Lord. Okay, 20. And in all matters of wisdom and understanding about which the king examined them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians, astrologers who were in the king's realm. Thus, Daniel continued the first year of King Cyrus. Let's flip to chapter 2. Chapter 2. From verse 11. It is a difficult thing that the king requests. And there was no one who can tell it to the king except the gods whose dwelling is not with flesh. For this reason, the king was angry and furious and gave the command to destroy all the wise men of Babylon. So the decree went out and they began killing the wise men and they sought Daniel and his companions to kill them. Then with counsel and wisdom, Daniel answered Ariel, the captain of the king's guard, who had gone out to kill the wise men of Babylon. He answered and said to Ariel, the king's captain, why is the decree from the king so urgent? Then Ariok made the decision known to Daniel. 
So Daniel went in and asked the king to give him time that he might tell the king the interpretation. Then Daniel went to his house and made decision known to Ananiah, Michelle, and Azariah, his companions, that they might seek mercies from the God of heaven concerning this secret, so that Daniel and his companions might not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Then the secret was revealed to Daniel in a night vision. So Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Daniel chapter 6, 1 to 3. Chapter 6, 1 to 3. It pleased Darius to set over the kingdom 120 satraps to be over the whole kingdom. And over these three governors of whom Daniel was one, that the satraps might give account to them, so that the king would suffer no loss. Then this Daniel distinguished himself above the governors and satraps, because an excellent spirit was in him. And the king gave thought to setting him over the whole realm. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless the work of uh, the word of his uh, mouth in the name of Jesus. I want us to see today, the topic is anointed for excellence. Anointed for excellence. Do you consider yourself anointed for excellence? Every creation of God is anointed for excellence. Because the Bible says, God created us in his own image. And at the end of creation, God said everything he made was good. Praise God. So I am an excellent child of God. Are you? Praise God. Tell yourself, I am an excellent child of God. Yes. So in everything you do, you must excel. Praise God. But for you to excel, there are things to do. We read in the life of Daniel that Daniel proposed in his heart not to defile himself with the king's portion. You know, when I read about the king's portion, palatable something, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's like if you go to uh, dine with uh, uh, President Buhari, you are not likely to take uh, the apple that we will take or the common things that we take. It's likely to be maybe a 12 course meal that you move from one room to the other, taking one thing like just like that, like that, like that. So those people were exposed to what the king ate. But Daniel said he was not going to defile himself. And when you talk of the king's wine, it is the best wine that the king drink, drink, uh, drank. But Daniel said, no. I am not going to take it because all these things were offered to idols. I'm going I'm just going to stay within what I am used to. And they stayed on vegetable and water. By the end of the 10 days, they were better, wiser than the other people. So you cannot go with the world and be at the same level with what God wants you to be. You cannot go with the world and be excellent in anything. It means that you must distinguish yourself. So let's go to the message. The motive of pursuing excellent, definition of excellent, motives of pursuing excellent, mode of pursuing excellent, the model of excellence, then the benefits of excellence. We may not be able to run through the whole uh, message, but please go with the bulletin and make sure you study it praise the lord the definition of excellent the dictionary definition of excellent is the quality of being outstanding or extremely good biblically it is outstanding or extremely good in pursuits or in abounding in christ like virtue that is showing high moral standards first timothy 4 12 first timothy 4 12 Let's flip to 4 Timothy 4, 4.12. Our you should be able to say it without looking into the Bible. 1 Timothy 4.12. What does this say? Does anyone want to help us? Our youth. Is there anyone who wants to help us? 1 Timothy 4.12. 1 Timothy 4. Uh, is on the screen. Oh my God. 
Let no one despise your youth, but be an example of believers in word, in conduct, in love, in spirit, in faith, and in purity. For you to excel, you must be able to exhibit what is written in this passage. That no one will look down on you. Let no one despise you. Let no one look down on you. In your academies, let no one look down on you. In your career, let no one look at the down on you. Strive for the best. That is excellence. You strive for the best. It is not that you are the best. But you strive to be the best. You strive to be the best always. So you look for things that will make you to do to, to be the best. If you are learning a trade, go beyond what the others are doing. Look for the best materials to use. Use for the best people to teach you. And always aspire to bring out the best product. Don't use cheap products. Praise God. I was uh, at this uh, the closing ceremony of uh, Purple Heart Initiative yesterday. And you know, a, a girl came out. I think she was, she was in the shoemaking group. And she said, these slippers, I made it. And she was describing how to make the slippers. She said the details of making the slippers. That even without knowing how to make slippers the way she was describing it you will want to make and she wore what she made i was like wow where are our children the program ran for one month and it was free and we gave the initiate, uh, initiator this place free only two people from our church attended i don't know for whatever reason so but i'm still going to find out but when you are talking of the best you could see that girl she was proud to come out she was saying it with all confidence that you will know that within that one month she has gained something and she said she i'm not going to stop here i'm going international praise god i'm going so already she has defined where she wants to go and I, I, I want to, I, I would like to follow her. She's not, she's not a Christian, she's a Muslim. But I would like to follow her to know how she will be by next year. Maybe she will be one of the uh, resource persons by next year. That is what excellence is about. You aspire to be the best. Condition of being superior. When we are talking of superiority in this, uh, in, in this light of excellence, I'm not talking about uh, being proud about things. No. I'm talking about wanting to be on top. Not lording yourself over people, but let your work speak for you. In the life of David, the Bible said uh, Saul was going not. And they were looking for somebody who could play instrument that would bring him out of that state. Then somebody said, oh, I know someone, a young man from the house of Jesse, who is very versatile in playing instrument. And when he plays, I'm sure it will affect the king's uh, emotional state. And they found David like that. He was skillful. He was not only skillful in playing instrument he was skillful in looking after animals and god saw that in him and made him a king the bible says "Seize a man diligent in his duties he will stand before kings and not before mean men let your work speak for you let him lead the definition of uh, excellent and move to the motive of excellent. What is the motive of what drives excellence? As Christians, it should be the glory of God that we do everything to the glory of God. Whatever you do, don't say my boss is not there or somebody is not there. God is watching you. And as a child of God, God expects you to put forth your best so that people will see your, the good works of God in you. 
and glorify your father who is in heaven we should do everything for eternal reward your reward is not just that your product will be the best even heaven will approve your product and your product will not die praise god because anything that heaven approves has more than international recognition so we should work for the reward that god will give not for the reward that a boss will give us let's go to the next point mode of pursuing excellent how do we pursue excellent how do we pursue excellent the person we read talked about daniel making the determination within himself his parents were not there nobody told him he just said he will not defile himself desire excellence desire excellence look for if you are learning a trade look for where they are doing it the best it's not money is not everything you can learn uh, what do you call it let me, let me say sewing even from a local person but because you are striving for excellence you will not stop there if you hear anybody that is doing some sewing you will go to the back it's not what to learn uh, what to learn on ground you will go to the back and look at what they do at the back to make the excellence cheap things are not really uh, for excellence praise god don't cut corners don't go through shortcuts learn at the back study that person you have somebody who is excelling in class don't join them to say ah uh, he's using jazz or he has gone to bribe the teachers move close to that person study the life of that person see what that person does that makes the person to excel you must invest in quality invest in quality investing in quality means that you put in everything that you have to be able to be the best 80 percent of things that come out to be excellent are learned at the backstage so you invest time you invest time into it the lord will give you wisdom because it's, it's not everything that takes money it's not everything that takes money the lord will give you wisdom to approach issues when you are striving for excellence if you pray very well god will direct you and link you up to someone who will be able to like nurture you or mentor you without taking a cover invest in quality you need to go for maybe retreat training and counseling move with people who are doing well don't move with people who are below you move with people who are above you then be humble so that they will teach you how to go about it in the life of uh, daniel when the king had a dream that everybody could not interpret in fact the king said i want somebody who can narrate the dream and his satraps and magicians told him it is not possible it is only god that can do that because you are not there when you had the dream you are the one that had the dream and after murdering some of them daniel had they were they were the daniel and his men were to be killed too daniel sought information he didn't just sit down and say well maybe he sought information and after getting the information why the king wanted that he said ha i have a god who can do all things the bible in hebrews 10 25 says do not forsake the fellowship of one another daniel went back to his friends told them what was happening and all of them gathered together to seek the face of god they invested their time they invested their talent they drew from the power that they know about 
they prayed by the time daniel was going to face the king he was able to narrate the dream interpret the dream what the magicians could not do daniel was given that ability to be able to do it and that elevated him and his friends if you want excellence as a child of god do everything for jesus don't say nobody is watching therefore you will cut corners do everything knowing that the eyes of god are looking at you and there is nothing that you do that goes unrewarded if you do everything to the glory of god the god of heaven will reward you so do everything as unto the lord that is what the bible teaches us be humble help others to come up and always aspire to follow the word of god commit to improvement and growth commit to improvement and growth always be ready to learn the moment we stop learning we start dying and there is nothing you cannot learn i used to do bedsheet in those days there is this particular man that i buy from and one day we were just discussing the wife was not in the shop well the wife was not always in the shop so one day i met the wife and i asked ah you are not always with uh, your husband in this something said ah she smiled then she said i'm doing my masters in uni like wow i was like I look at the man, look at the woman. They didn't match one another the way I saw it. The man now told me later that, look, madam, I like the way you are come because I always go there in my nurse's uniform. So he knew that I'm a nurse. So he now said, what do your interest to this thing? I said, to make ends meet. That man told me don't just make ends meet because the way you come and pick your material you are so unique in some things because of you i will be buying some unique things then when you come we will match it together praise the lord the man was the one that exposed me to making a fitted sheet you know like the dress my sister is wearing it has pink blue and the navy blue when I sit down like this, the man will pick plain uh, uh, pink, uh, uh, pink, plain light blue, plain navy blue, and uh, match the three materials for me. And by the time I produce, people will ask me, did you import it? Is, it was it when you went to UK that you bought it? Praise the Lord. But the secret was that I traveled one time. I bought a complete set of uh, Max and Spencer bedsheet. I sat down, look at it. Look at the way it was cut. I even bought brown paper to cut it so that I will get that corner very well. If you study fitted sheet that is made, it is not fitted sheet. It doesn't fit the corner of the mattress. Because it has to be cut in a way i sat down i did it and i was making it like that and packing it like that oh i sold like wow wow praise god commit to improvement look for where you can improve yourself you can do it in academics you can do it in your career you can do it anywhere at any level commit to growth spend time to learn and be humble about it identify the areas of your life and make necessary revolution what i mean by that is that when you identify the areas you are weak don't put yourself and say oh i am the best so 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 no if you see another person doing something put to go there be humble about it sister i like this your the way you did so 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 i want to I, I just want to know about it praise god a girl yesterday said they were taught the 
a current style of Thai Gele. So I was asking myself, is there any current style again? That they were told the current style, the present one, the one that is in vogue of Thai Gele. Always put your nose to know what is happening. Praise God. Be committed to growth continually. Make changes when it is necessary. When people complain about your product, look into it. Don't say they don't like me. Any complaint about your product, pick it up. Look at it. See if it is true. If it is true, go to where they are doing it better. Then you learn more. I don't know how many of us watch this program on the television, uh, Gist Me or something. A young lady, they showed her yesterday, they went to Dubai. In fact, she said she was a, a, a house girl. She had HND. She was house girl for some people. And by the time they, she had spent about two, no, she didn't have a house girl. I think she was living with an uncle. Then, by the time she spent about four weeks, the uncle said, ah, I can no longer accommodate you. You have to look for something to do. Then she said, in a strange land, what will I do? Uncle, what can I do? Said, you, maybe you'll be house girl. Praise God. And she started by being house girl in the house of her uncle. From house girl, she got a job as hotel waiter. It was that hotel waiter that she was doing when she thought that oh, i could land this i could land that now she owns many boutiques in, Buga, in dubai making uh air yeah, making wig making all sorts of things she, she's selling shoes she's selling bag she's into so many things don't sit down and anytime anybody complains about your product make sure you look for the way to improve model of excellence our model of excellence like i said is daniel let's look at the life of daniel let's look at the life of daniel from the beginning we read in daniel chapter one daniel exercised self-control self-discipline he did not defile himself with the king's portion he was humble about it he made the eunuch and told the eunuch that let us do it this way then give us time 10 days then you look at us daniel demonstrated faithfulness to god in the face of provocation when they said oh there is an image that the king has made everybody should bow down they should pray for the, to the image daniel said he wasn't going to do it even when the king challenged him he said no he was not going to do it he continued to pray to his god and god brought him out of the lion's den where he was put he displayed absolute dependence on the ability of god to reveal secrets that was why he was able to narrate the king's dreams he honored god before the earthly king he told the king ah it is only god that can give wisdom to narrate the dream and to interpret the dream he did not boast he was not boastful that i'm a jew from my lineage this is what happened god moves with all god does no he didn't do that he was somebody said it's only god give me time to go and confer with my god he demonstrated competent leadership by leading the other three Hebrew children. He did not make them to form a, a gang of uh, revolutionists. Eh? Or those who will say, no, we are not going to agree with the king. Instead, he will call them, tell them the situation, and even lead them to the solution to the situation. He demonstrated loyalty to God. He was not after gains. When the king said, I'm going to give you so, 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 and so, he said, no, king, keep your reward. 
I want you to know that there is a God who answers prayers. He had a disciplined prayer life and was consistent in his service to God. The benefits of excellence. I'm, I took it from the life of uh, Daniel. It increases self-confidence and self-esteem. By the time Daniel came out to be better than the other people, he could talk anywhere. And people were able to listen to him. It brings recognition and praise. By the time you stand out among people, everybody will know you. And everybody will want to be your friend. Though, you may have enemies. Just like uh, Daniel had enemies. That they conspired against him. But God gave him victory. If you are true with what you are doing, God will always fight for you. He makes you become an impeccable, impeccable in character. You will be the, 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 like a, an example that people will want to belong to. You want to attract themselves to. It attracts jealousy, envy, and opposition. Just like we saw in the life of uh, Daniel. Praise God. I had so many experiences in life that it's only God that saw me through. In secondary school, one of the teachers, you know, I have this black line on my eyes that I look as if I use a, what they call tiro. I don't, I didn't know what tiro was. The lady called me. It was our, she was our, our, what was she teaching? Chemistry teacher. And she said, what is this on your eye? I looked at myself. I said, there is nothing, ma. Then he said, ha, only Tiro was in class. Ah, Kilung Jebe. I never knew what Tiro was. And she said she has been watching me. And she has told one of the teachers, she has told our biology teacher. And the biology teacher said, ah, no, this girl is from a Christian family. And this and then I did like this. I said, look at it, ma. He said, ah, ma, told me, praise God. This woman picked me up. Ha. In fact, if not because uh, my father knows the principal, she will have been sending me out of class. But when she entered the class like this, it is Gladys. And I was like, wow, how old was I? I didn't even know how to pray then, but God defended me. It was in form five that she now called me that look. <laughs> she got married to somebody who liked me, a teacher in the school who liked me. So I think they were just talking. And she now mentioned my mother, ah, that girl, this and this and she called me and said, I'm sorry. That I thought you are one of those people who use a jazz on teachers so that they could notice them. I said, for about three years, she was like that. Thank God that I didn't even like chemistry. <laughs> but I didn't like chemistry, so I didn't offer chemistry at all. So uh, the contact caught in form four. So praise the Lord. So when you are excellent, definitely people will envy you. People will think you are doing something else. Daniel suffered it, but God fought for him. He can bring victory in the face of opposition. Look at the life of the three Hebrew children and Daniel. When they face situations that were terrible, that people thought they would not come out, God stood in for them. Three people were thrown into the uh, uh, furnace, but Jesus entered there. The furnace became a cooler. They came out on hot. Daniel was put in the, Daniels, in the, the lion's den. The lion of Judah stood for him. So in the face of opposition, God will always give you victory. In conclusion, a measure of the spirit of excellence has been deposited in every believer because you are created in the image of God. For it to manifest, it starts to be found into flames. So there is conscious effort in it. Supernatural excellence is a virtue 
imputed by the operation of the Holy Spirit in the life of a believer. The manifestation of it lies in the self-determination of the believer. In other words, operating in the spirit of excellence is by choice. It's not by chance. Daniel 1 8 said, He proposed in his heart not to defile himself with the king's portion. Shall we rise? Shall we rise? Anointing for excellence. Anointing for excellence. You are anointed for excellence. You are anointed for excellence. But God created you in his own image. But you have to make conscious effort, just like Daniel. I want us to close our eyes this morning and ask God to reveal unto us any area of compromise in our lives. Any area of compromise that will not make us to excel. The devil stood before Joshua wanting to accuse him. But God appeared for him. He said, no, this one had been saved. Can God speak for you look at yourself and tell god whatever area of my life that the devil may use as a weapon to deny me of excellence because you are anointed you are born to excel tell god to reveal it to you is it pride is it jealousy is it envy is it cutting corners all those little little things they are little foxes that devour the vine tell god to take it away backbiting tell god to take it away cheating tell god to take it away. making compromise in any way tell god to take it away are you here this morning you have not even started the journey of excellence i want to remind you that god created you in his image for a purpose so that you will bring glory to his name but for you to do that you have to accept the lord jesus christ into your life then the spirit comes upon you if you have not done that please you have an opportunity to do it this morning to confess christ as your personal lord and savior it's very simple But you can be saved by the grace of God, by the price that Christ paid at Calvary. If you are here this morning, you want to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Can you please lift up your hands? Just raise your hand above your head. God is watching. God is expecting you to take that decision so that the power of excellence power to excel anointing to excel can be released upon you in the name of jesus is there anyone if you are watching and you have not given your life to the lord jesus christ the call is for you wherever you are confess your sins before him and confess christ as your personal lord and savior tell jesus to come into your life and it will come into your life you will become a new person i want to take it that all of us are born again we are saved the second call is if you have any area of your life that you think you should excel and you are not excelling talk to god the lord is releasing upon you spirit of excellence but he wants you to deal with the that is eating my van, not making me to excel. Are you backward in your academics, in your career, in your vocation? Please talk to God. Tell God. Jesus is here right now. 
Jesus is here right now. He is here to meet your needs and to set the captives free. Oh, Jesus is here right now. Jesus is here. to meet your needs and to set the captives free oh jesus is here right now if you belong to that category you won't go to touch an area of your life particularly place your hand on your chest and tell god release upon me a spirit of excellence deal with every little fox that is devouring my vine not making me to excel take that prayer seriously tell God and if you can identify those areas in your life tell God to deal with them the Bible says we want not against flesh and blood but against powers, against principalities that are unseen, tell God that God deliver me. Deliver me from failure. Deliver me from limitation. Deliver me from everything that the enemy may use to accuse me. And put an hindrance in me excelling. Help me, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Let's go to the Holy Communion. Leaders, please come around. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Shall we rise? Please. Shall we rise and pray? And so our Father, we want to thank you again for the privilege that you've given to us even to come to table again with you. So many have gone in the past eight months. But Father, you kept us even to see the month of September. Father, we return all glory unto you. Accept all our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, we sanctify this emblem in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. And Father, we pray this morning that Lord, as we come to table with you this morning, Father, the whole of our September will be good in Jesus' name. Amen. As we have come to table with you this morning, Father, the spirit of excellence, you will release it upon our children, upon all our businessmen, upon our academics, upon our job and career in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord, we pray that in this month of September, we will stand in righteousness and in holiness. And when we stand in Christ Jesus in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I pray today, this morning, that Lord, in this month of September, none of us will fall sick in the name of Jesus. Amen. And Father, we pray that in this month of September, Ababa, none of us will lack any good thing in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will prosper the work of our hands. You will bless our job. You will bless our businesses. In the name of Jesus. We will not go a begging in the name of Jesus.
worship you daddy will bless your holy name thank you father see us through the month so that next month october again we will be here to glorify your holy name in jesus mighty name we have prayed Amen. praise the lord shall we be seated let's be seated after supper saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood this do as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup you proclaim the lord's death till he comes therefore whoever eats this bread or drink this cup of the lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and the blood of the lord but let Praise the Lord. Just a simple explanation about this passage. This is Paul reporting what Jesus commanded us to do. The relationship of any living thing comes through the blood. That is why we have the umbilical cord joining us to our mothers. And it is the umbilical cord that passes the blood across. So the power of any living thing is in the blood. Our relationship with Jesus Christ is in the blood he shed at Calvary. If you are a believer, you have confessed Jesus Christ just as I believe every one of us have done, then you need to keep the relationship by living according to the words of God living in holiness and purity that is what this passage is talking about if you are a believer and you are still living a life of sin you still have a clause that if christ should come today you are not qualified to go to heaven you are not supposed to partake of this holy communion and that is why the bible says many are sick and many die it's not just the physical death spiritual death you may still be walking and you may be dead if you are not connected to him then that's his death sentence the lord will continue to interpret his word in our hearts in jesus name if you still have any clause in your life please before the elements gets to you repent and sin no more pray that God should help you to take away that aspect clean you with the blood then you can partake but it does not mean that because of that you will not come to church on Holy Communion Day God sees you wherever you are praise the Lord so that is the message I believe that as we partake this morning our covenant in the blood of Jesus shall be renewed and we shall receive strength to live above every circumstance in jesus name amen we for the benefit of those who are maybe taking it with us for the first time this is what we use there's a transparent cover on top of the cup that holds the bread so you remove the transparent cover and take the bread by the time we are drinking the wine you remove the purple cover and drink the wine but please don't drop the cup on the floor. The ushers will pack the basket around so that you can drop it inside. And the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
praise the Lord. The cup shall be served now and we all take. For those who are watching virtually, please take the element of bread. It could be bread, biscuit, wafers, or whatever you have. You can use a ribina, you can use water, whatever liquid that you want to use, but non-alcoholic. Please take it. And as we are taking it in the church, you two partake of your own and pray as we pray. God bless you. Just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me, and now thou beats me come to thee. Just as I am and waiting not to read my soul of wonder blood to thee whose blood can cleanse its parts Broke it and said, This is my body broken for you. And as you eat it, remember me. This is my body. Oh, 
in his presence if you are watching us virtually take the emblem of your bread and eat as we eat together the power of sin is broken the power of death is broken the power of sickness and infirmity is broken strength is released into our body into our soul into our spirit in the name of jesus eat ye all of it On the night he was betrayed, he took the cup. And after giving thanks, you lifted it up. This is my God, what I for you. our system the power in his blood is released upon our system it shall flush away every infirmity every impurity every sin every sickness every disease limitation his blood was shed at Calvary. His blood was shed at Calvary. Release upon you. Is there anything afflicting you, disturbing your peace? The chastisement of your peace was laid upon him. When his blood was shed at Calvary, receive peace, receive peace, receive peace, receive peace in the name of Jesus. The peace of God is released upon us as we drink this morning. If you are watching virtually, drink along with us. Go on your knees and pray. Let us go on our knees and pray. This is the month of September. God has promised us that it shall be a month of flourishing, shall be a month of multiplication, a month of sufficiency. Go on your knees and claim all those things because God has released his word unto us and it shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. It's the same we'll be remembered for good in the name of Jesus. Go on your knees and pray. I was there for you in the midnight hour. He's the same God who is able to wipe your tears away. He's the same God who was there in times of lack and war. He's the same God. He's Jehovah, my great provider. Tell me why you've given up on God. Tell me why you've given up on Him. Tell me why you've given up on God. Hold on, change is on the way. Sina, sukuna, 
alone shall be glorified. Our blood shall not be shed. Our bodies shall not be broken. Because you did it all. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. I've been to I've Calvary. I've been to Calvary. I did myself become God of the Lamb. I drink the blood of Jesus. My life has been made. I've been to Calvary. I've been I live myself in the blood of the Lamb. I live the blood of Jesus. My life has been made. I live the blood of the Lamb. 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 Oh, he did to cover me. Praise the Lord. I want the leaders to come out to be anointed. The workers to come out to be anointed. Praise the Lord. I want to read this passage. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me to preach the good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken hearted. To proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to those who are bound. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all who mourn. To console those who mourn in Zion and to give them beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning 
the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they may be called trees of righteousness the planting of the lord that he may be glorified leaders as you come out claim this passage that in this year the lord will go with you the lord will go with you the congregation remain standing and pray for them they are to lead us in this year 2022 2023 pray for them that the lord will give us unction to function for him in the name of jesus choir let your living water Pastor Lee, flow by my soul. Let your Holy Spirit come and take control the oil on the of every situation that has grown. But my as you continue to pray all my tears and body unto you i roll spirit 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 holy spirit spirit holy spirit
have no power of our own father we pray that you release your power unto us anointing to function option to function in the mighty name of jesus father we receive that strength and power in the name of jesus that we take your church to another level in the name of jesus physically spiritually financially emotionally father lift us up oh lord in the name of jesus and we decree that with this anointing let every power contrary to your will in our lives be destroyed in the name of jesus yeah. father establish your authority Amen. over the leaders over the pastors over the deacon and deaconesses over the workers in this church in the name of jesus that your word shall continually be seen with signs and wonders in the name of jesus visit this altar in a new way O oh lord lift us up O oh lord thank you mighty name of Jesus, just begin to decree into the month of September that in this month of September I will not cry. In the name of Jesus, in this month of September I will not mourn. In the name of Jesus, in this month of September, the blood of Jesus will speak for me. In the mighty name of Jesus, in this month of September I will do exploits. I shall be fruitful. I will multiply. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray it. Begin to command this month. Begin to. We have started this month, and we are still in this month. Begin to pray every day in this month. We deliver good tidings. It shall be good news. It shall be testimony. In the name of Jesus, I will not cry. I will not mourn. In the name of Jesus, I will not send spend my money in the hospital. In the name of Jesus, I will not be called for a case in the court. In the mighty name of Jesus, just begin to decree whatever you want in this month of September. Pray it into being. Begin to tell it to God. Begin to speak it. He has given us dominion. The Lord created this world with the words of his mouth. He said, let there be light and there was light. Begin to speak. Begin to speak into being. Whatever you desire in your life in this month of September concerning your family concerning your business concerning everything that surrounds you in the mighty name of jesus begin to call on every good thing every good thing that heaven can give in the name of jesus let's begin to possess our possession let's begin to take charge let's begin to take control 
In the mighty name of Jesus. Ask the Lord, Lord, I desire your power. The power to take charge. The power to don take dominion. In the name of Jesus. Begin to ask for that power. Begin to ask for that grace. Begin to speak for every day. Each day in the month of September. Each week in this month of September. Let there be good news. In the name of Jesus. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest spring, but only live on Jesus' name. of your power but believe it there are powers and one thing if you say you are a christian you have to be a christian there are people there that have other powers they work with so i don't know that power you have i have only the power in the blood of jesus and if that is exactly what you have this morning we have been before the table we have part we partook from the blood of jesus begin to call upon that blood begin to take charge Begin to take control. Begin to speak. Let the power in the blood of Jesus begin to take charge over every affair of your life. In the name of Jesus, begin to call upon that blood. The new covenant we have is the covenant in the blood of Jesus. Is the name that when you mention every new bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Begin to call upon that name. Begin to call upon that name. Begin to take charge everything concerning your life. Begin to speak to me in the name of Jesus. Are you facing health challenges? Begin to speak to that health. Begin to speak health. Begin to speak divine health. Begin to speak divine healing. Begin to speak divine provision. Begin to speak fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Begin to multiply. He has given us the dominion. He has given us charge. Just begin to take charge. Begin to command the blood of Jesus to continue to speak. Begin to tell the blood of Jesus to continue to speak. In the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus take control over. In the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to call upon that blood. Begin to call upon that blood. There is power. There is power. There is power in the blood. There is power. There is power. There is power in the blood. There is power, healing power, mighty power in the blood. There is power. There is power. There is power in the blood. There is power, mighty power, mighty power in the blood. There is power. There is power. There is power in the blood. This morning, that power that is in the blood of Jesus, that power that no power can stand, begin to call it. Everything concerning you, in your business, in your career, begin to speak the power. In the blood of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus begin to make manifest. Let everything that is dead in me come alive. Begin to speak to it. Whatever that is dead in me, I command you to come alive. Let the blood of Jesus begin to make manifest in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus speak. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There, there is condition for all this. And we know the condition. 
the condition is that you must abide if you don't abide you'll be cut off so let's begin to pray this morning every power that will take me away from all these blessings every power that want to stop me from connecting to my source of power father in the name of jesus let them die right now in the name of jesus begin to command them to die whatever that will stop me whatever that will be a hindrance to my source of power in this month of september lord in your mercy let them die by fire in the name of jesus let them die by fire in the name of jesus let them die by fire in the mighty name of jesus let's begin to thank god begin to thank god that from this 4th of september to the end of september and beyond it's only testimony begin to thank him just begin to worship him he is worthy he alone is worthy he alone is worthy he's the lord that can do all things thank you ancient of days thank you i am that i am we give you all the praise be thou exalted O lord for we pray with thanksgiving in jesus mighty name as we have asked so shall it be in the name of jesus this month of september shall be for goodness and mercy we receive the spirit of grace the lord will anoint us with the anointing of grace the grace that will open doors of favor in the name of jesus doors of promotion doors of divine health doors of victory in the mighty name of jesus we shall testify the goodness of god in jesus name we pray Amen. praise the lord praise the lord please why stand it please let's stand lord please i'm not just having this lady i don't know who is for and i'll make this declaration three times that's occurred to me this during this service and whoever is for should just say amen and all these things shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the lord thy god blessed shall thou be in the city blessed shall thou be in the field blessed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy ground and the fruit of thy cattle and the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep blessed shall be thy basket and thy store blessed shall thou be when thou comes in and blessed shall thou be when thou goes out the lord shall cause thy enemy that rest rest against you in one direction to be smitten in seven shall flee in seven directions they shall come out against thee one way and flee seven ways the lord shall command that blessing upon thee in thy storehouse and in that thou sittest thy hand unto and he shall bless thee in the land which the lord thy god shall give thee the lord shall establish thee as an only people unto himself as he has sworn unto thee he shall keep thee the commandment of the lord thy god and shall walk in his way all the people of the earth shall see you and call you in the name of the lord they shall be afraid of you and the lord shall make thee pleasures in goods in the fruit of thy body in the fruit of thy cattle and in the fruit of thy ground in the land the lord swear unto thee today in jesus name Amen. praise praise the lord praise praise the lord you may have your seat please for these few announcements i welcome you today under the first choir gospel church jabak tech center of praise 14 Eleto Dubu Street, Ablejecha, Lagos. Pradventure, today is your very first time of watching here. Can you just wave your hand where you are seated? If today is your very first time here in this assembly, praise the Lord. In this assembly, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. So, where you are, please just stand up, stand up, carry your Bible and come to this one. Here. Please, my child, help me attend to them.
hope today may be your very first time, but after today's service, you're already one of us. You are, you are free to worship with us and to come again. God continue to bless you in Jesus' name. Please remind that our Sunday service hold here every day, every Sunday by and start by 7:30 with pre-worship prayer. God bless you as you fellowship with us next week Sunday in Jesus' name. Sunday school holds immediately after the service. Your knowledge of God's word will be greatly increased. Don't miss it. Your service is incomplete until you attend Home and Life Fellowship. Life Center Fellowship holds at 6 p.m. every Sunday at designated centers. Please find the one closest to you by checking the notice board in the bookshelf. If there is none close to you, please make your home a fellowship center and send reports to our sister Kemi Olufumilayo. Gospel night. The gospel night for this month rolled by on 25th September 2022 in the church auditorium at 6 p.m. Our midweek services. Tuesdays, church prayer meeting by 6 p.m. Thursday, we have we normally have Bible study at 6 p.m. Please don't miss out on any of these services. Our ministry or arm meetings hold as follows. FWM meets Monday by 6 p.m. It is for all males from ages 18 and above. And want to remind us that this uh, next week Sunday, by grace of God, that we should remind all the FWM members that the monthly meeting will hold immediately after Sunday school. Please try to remember to wait behind next week Sunday after Sunday school. CFM, this also for males above 18, ages of 18. They meet second Sunday of every month after Sunday school. Youth. Youth hold their meeting first Saturday of every month by 12 p.m. here in the church hall. Prayer team. The prayer team meets every Wednesday for prayer from 6 p.m. Join them to pray. Follow up and visitation. Saturday by 5 p.m. every Saturday. That is follow up and visitation. That's evangelism. Things. Things hold their meeting third Friday of every month at 5 p.m. in this church hall. I want to remind those who made pledges, particularly for our building project. Odovisha, can you project the building project, please? So the church is marching on. Please be part of the train. The committee was going to start the turning of the sword of the building our new edifice please be part of it and god will bless you abundantly in jesus name we are reminded of the pledge of 50 percent of our income towards the building project and the architectural drawing i think uh, the artificial to help us out all other informations uh announcement are in our bulletin but let us remember the kingdom expansion our eater church Aroje in Ugomosho, the churches are marching on. Let's continue to pray and give to them. West End, these are fellowship, they have fellowship every Sunday by 8 a.m. Be part of it, or you can go give and groan our upcoming event programs. Please remind that the admission for the new section of the T program has commenced kindly see pastor chine do chikeruba to put down your details between now and next month if you are interested love offering will be collected today being the first sunday of the month please give cheerfully by the time they bring the, the uh, offering basket there will be a basket in the front for love offering so let's give. More so, the church urges everyone to be security conscious. 
take buses from parks inform someone when you go out and don't walk late at night may the lord keep and guide us all in jesus name all other announcements not passed now will be sent across during the course of the week praise the lord offering time offering time let's dip our, hand, our pocket into our hands to our pockets and give bountifully to god god that has spared us to enter the ember month let's give bountifully to him why well, invite our humbly invite our senior pastor to pray on the offering and our tithe please let's bring out our tithe to praise the lord praise the lord shall we package a beautiful offering for the lord in addition to the announcement those who want to do the theological um, education by extension if you want to do it online it is available www.lts.edu.ng i will give it to the audiovisual to project shall we rise shall we rise with our envelope the envelopes are for the worship offering the basket is for the love offering as it has been announced so please package something nice for god and uh, he will replenish your post in jesus name shall we pray with our envelopes and if you are making the transfer the account details will be displayed on the screen our father and our lord we thank you father we thank you for an opportunity to give to your cause father we pray that as we give this money banish poverty in our midst in the mighty name of jesus father we pray that you return unto us bountiful fold in the name of jesus we give with our hands O lord grant us the power to collect with our bosom in the name of jesus thank you mighty father accept our offering in jesus name we pray let's lift up our right hands if you are right handed if you are left handed lift up your left hand let god bless these hands that we take to to work our father and our lord we thank you thank you for this hand that are lifted up thank you for the strength to lift up the hands father as we lift up this hand we connect to the resources of heaven father we pray that you open your resources unto us in the mighty name of jesus we pray that to grant us the heart of obedience as we bring our tithe rebuild the devourer for our sakes in the name of jesus father we pray lord that we shall not work for another man to eat we shall not labor in vain in the name of jesus and we pray that our vine shall not cast its young our businesses will not abort they will not miscarry they will not give up prematurely in the name of jesus father we pray that favor will follow us in the name of jesus father we decree that we shall be delightsome anywhere we go in the name of jesus in this ember month we shall be remembered for increase for abundance for multiplication for sufficiency for flourishing in the name of jesus thank you father in jesus name we give thanks tight is minimum one tenth of whatever comes into your pocket it belongs to god and the lord will visit you as you obey in jesus name amen hallelujah hallelujah Glory. let's give our offering rejoicing oh lord i am ready to sing your praise and over when until you give me something Oh Lord, I am ready to sing your praise. Ready to sing your praise. Ready to sing your praise. Oh Lord, oh Lord, I am ready to sing your praise. I am ready to sing to you. I go my way until you give me something. Oh Lord, I am ready to sing to you. Ready to sing to you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh Lord. Oh Lord, I am ready to sing to you.
Before we close the service, we have a celebrant for today. We have a celebrant for today. The celebrant knows himself. Please walk out majestically. Walk out majestically. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. One, two, three, go. Happy birthday.
the toys of the day. Long life, good health, and prosperity. Amen. Jesus will continue to reign in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. The youth pastor. In Jesus' name. Precious Father and Lord, we thank you for your son. Thank you because you've had it one more year to his years on earth. We bless your name. He's not celebrating this in the hospital. It is your doing and we're thankful. Accept our thanksgiving on his behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. As you've added years to him, we pray you will add strength to him in the name of Jesus. Help him, O oh God, to give him good judgment and sound mind in the mighty name of Jesus. In all his endeavors, I pray, Heavenly Father, you will uplift him in the mighty name of Jesus. Your word in Exodus 31 says that you gave unto Bezalel and Oholiab a spirit, an excellent spirit. They could do all manners of things. I ask, O oh God, you will bestow upon him a spirit that will enable him to do all things to excellent level in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray for his family and his household. You will also bless and you will prosper them in the mighty name of Jesus. And the next year when we celebrate, we'll celebrate with much rejoicing and thanksgiving. Thank you because you hear us, O oh God. For in Jesus' precious name have we prayed. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. Happy birthday. Praise the Lord. Shall we close the service for the virtual audience? For our visitors, stay where you are. There is a teacher coming to attend to you. And if you are in church last Sunday, you are a visitor. Please go to the same point. Your teacher will teach you. God bless you. Shall we pray? Eternal rock of ages, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We thank you for giving us the opportunity to be in your presence this morning. Father, we are grateful for everything that has been released into our lives. Father, we take them as blessings in Jesus' name. And we pray that we multiply your grace for us to manifest in the mighty name of Jesus. As we go in the week and the month, go with us, O oh Lord. Preserve us. Protect us. Be pre pre pro pre provide for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we lift up this our country unto you, O oh Lord. As the nationalizing race will start. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that only those that you approve of shall enter into the race in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, and we decree, O oh Lord, that thy kingdom come and your will be done concerning this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Take all praise. Take all honor. Take all adoration, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We shall share the grace after the Sunday school. Please join the Sunday school. The Lord bless you as you are you sit under the teaching in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God.